MacBook Air Review This year's MacBook Air fixes a lot of our complaints with previous models. It comes with new, more powerful, innards, a drastically improved keyboard and more storage space. However, the screen is a little muted and battery life is average. Still, if you're an Apple fan looking for an affordable MacBook, we can heartily recommend the new MacBook Air, something we've not been able to do with previous versions. The MacBook Air addresses a number of complaints we've had about previous releases of Apple's affordable thin and light laptop. Our biggest issue with previous models was how the hardware powering them was beginning to feel rather outdated and underpowered, especially compared to many Windows-based laptops of around the same price tag. While Apple was understandably trying to make the MacBook Air as affordable as possible, we felt there were a few too many compromises, especially when it came to processing power and storage space. Plus, each yearly update felt like a small step up, rather than a revolutionary jump. The good news is that the MacBook Air 2020 feels like a much bigger step up from the MacBook Air 2019, with Apple finally adding new components that gives it a decent uptick in performance. It's also up the minimum storage capacity of the device, and for the first time offers configurations with quad-core processors and up to 16GB of RAM. It does all of this without neglecting that all-important thin and light design which the MacBook Air is famous for. While it's not the thinnest laptop around, it's still an impressively compact laptop with Apple's famous design and build quality, and while the new components add a little extra size and weight to the overall dimensions of the new MacBook Air, it remains a laptop you can easily and comfortably carry around with you. When it comes to price, Apple has pleasantly surprised us by releasing the MacBook Air 2020 at a starting price that's lower than what the 2019 model launched at, $999, £999, $1,599 Australian dollars.